Saying you're sorry, you just like singing that song. Saying you love me, you just like reading that poem. Keep saying and saying, what is you saying at all? What is that called? What is that called? You know what you're doing to me. You know what you're doing to me. Yo, thank you for watching thus far. This message is brought to you by New Regime and Truck Around. All right, so look, all the music y'all get to hear in this channel is me, Kill VCR. I'm him. I'm that guy. So if you like the music, if you enjoy it, if you give the video a thumbs up, as well as go follow me at A Q U I L V C R. That's A Q U I L V C R. Truck Around. And look, make sure you tell me Truck Around sent you, so then I can know. If you see how that's coming, so yeah, definitely let me know. Just took a flat back brats, just straight up brats and bread. No, I was gonna make you some. I got some raviolis, I got some mushrooms, I got some um, mirepoix, which is basically just onions, carrots, and celery dice. Um, got some crushed parsley, and got some tomato sauce. And I just wanna make like a little, I guess like sausage ragu. Um, are you, how you cooking this without a real stove? I'm cooking it in the, uh, I'm cooking it in so the, pop, uh, so pop right there. Pop? It's popping. Oh, it's going to pop, baby. I'm you, just you, saying you, it's popping. But you scared? I'm not scared. What I'm just scared you ain't notifying you that it's popping. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. See, you know what I'm saying? I use all organic natural materials, so maybe you got that, you know what I'm saying, that, that mod in there that's why it's popping no actually this is what i'm using if you were using basonic oil you'd be good this is avocado oil this is better going down mm. so, so you I'm use using. that instead so i mean I, I, i'm from a, a a different world than you i'm a pam cat you know what i'm saying that's what we use back in the day you spray the pam on there joint fall right off is that stuff good no because it's usually hydrogenous oil uh, saturated fats and stuff like that. You don't want that. So, I'm a lighter oil. Situation, but you, you gonna mess around and mess it up now. Don't mess with my papaya. I don't even know what a papaya is. All right, there you go. What is this? Can you eat the skin? No. It, must, it look mildew. No, I'm just letting it ripen a little bit more. This ain't a real fruit. You made this up. You want me to cut into it? No, no, cut it too when you're going to use it. I've never eaten a papaya before. Uh, I'm going to cut into it. So you just take pieces off of it like a peach or a mango? The papaya is the fruit that has a lot of black seeds in the middle of it. Oh, I've seen that. I don't yeah. know. It's white with black seeds. It's not necessarily white. It's yellow. whoop de doo basil. It's lighter than the black seed. Yeah. So she, she go from papaya to pork bellies. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I disagree with this meat. I ain't need it. I'm going you vegetarian. Want Who did? You did. True. I did pick that up. I thought not that I picked all the meat out. Oh my. Well, that bacon was banging on it. Yeah, it was really good. I be knowing. I was popping. It's popping. Oh. You know what? I'm popping. Y'all, she mad because her draft shift was rough. So now she don't care if I burn to death. Like, you see how women don't match up? I'm putting the onions and the carrots. It's actually called mirepoix. Mirepoix is what you would put into soups or vegetables. It's like the holy trinity when it comes to cooking. Um, and it just gives us a, a good aromatic or aroma, good flavor profile. It's a basically, um, as you can smell, it's hot. I didn't even really add no seasonings yet. Yeah, it smells good. You got a piece I can get? No. Get out of here. Alright, so then I got some, where's my seasoning? What you do? You move my stuff? I don't move your stuff. I don't mess with your cooking stuff. Okay. Like I said, the Volvo really don't have a really cool way to store everything, so I'm going to do an organizational like video once I figure out what's good. I'll probably go to like my favorite store, Target, 
Can't you get like a shelf to go in there? Yeah, I can. Well, you know what? We should go to like Ikea because Ikea has um, cool like little compartments and little boxes and different things like that mm -hmm. that I can use. So, and they fit really well. And usually they're made out of like material. Yeah. So. That's too much salt. This is not salt. This is onion powder. Same thing. We got peppercorn medley. Always use fresh cracked pepper because pepper goes stale if it's already ground. Doesn't have the same type of punch. Pepper goes stale. Yeah, like if you like pepper is really good when you have it fresh. That's why like when you go to a restaurant, they'll give you a pepper mill. Oh, for you to actually spin it. Yeah, so it's a way better taste uh, when you have fresh cracked pepper. And also, oh, I didn't take this off. Um, Start getting into Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan? Mm -hmm. Pink salt. Pink salt. Milder flavor has the same properties as you using like kosher sea salt. Um, and it just it brightens up your food a little bit better. So well, where you learn all this fancy dancy cooking at, dog? You're up at in the it strip the, club. The strip club. <laughs> Y'all were cooking in there and popping. <laughs> Pop like it, pop it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The freaking, uh, the freaking, uh, what's it call it? Um, they, um, they have really nice, uh, you know, like restaurants. Uh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So, so uh, got some good food now. Oh, yeah. That main thing they be making it wings. Yeah, wings, like wings and steaks, nice pastas they always have. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on it now. So my I'm fat tail is going there just for the wings. <laughs> I got my wings. I'm out. My wings. I'm out there. So what I'm doing is I am searing. Searing. Good one. Hey. I'm searing it so that way I can get some nice caramelization on the brats. As you guys can see, nice color. Oh, oh, that sausage up again. Ooh. Give me a thumbnail with it. Smile. And got it. All right, probably do it this way. Hold on. Let me get the wide angle on it. You gotta look at me while you're doing it. Though. Done. Okay. I was gonna, I'd rather the thumbnail be me putting everything together, but. We'll All right, see. we'll do a couple thumbnails. All right. So you wanna get a nice caramelization on it, so that way when we chop it up or dice it up, um, you know, or uh, cook it in liquid. So that's what you'll do, what you call like a braise. You don't necessarily braise in tomato sauce because it's already thick. Um, usually braising go into some type of liquid, but that's basically what I'm going for when I add the tomato sauce later is I'm going to have um, nice medallions of the sausage. I'm going to have these onions and peppers. Uh, Why you didn't put seasoned salt on there? Why didn't put seasoned salt on there? Yeah, because it got my name, my name to hood cooked foods mm -hmm. is seasoned salt. And if I'm really getting fancy, I throw a little obey on there Here's, just to bring it out. So I didn't do the seasoned salt because you have a lot of salt that's already in the uh, sausage. That's uh. how they cure it. Um, and I put a little bit of the pink salt. And to be honest with you, you want to taste your food as you go along. So when people are just putting in seasoning and stuff like that, I mean, yes, what happens is your body becomes accustomed to that level of seasoning. But then, as we can see, when you're putting in all those different seasonings and stuff like that, you're taking away from the food aspect. And now what happens is when you go to eat something that is fresh or, you know, prepared very simply, you're like, ugh, because you need all these additives. And usually, now spices are good, but seasoned salts, different things like that. Okay, so what's the difference between spice and season? What's the real difference between them? Well, spices are usually derivative from the earth. So seasons ain't? Uh, seasonings are going to be a compilation of different spices. So say, for example, Mrs. Dash has garlic salt, garlic powder, things like that, where it's a spice will be like fennel seed, star anise, um, zatar, um, um, oregano, or oregano. Um, so those are the, like, that's the difference between spices. Spices usually come from one source, whereas seasonings are... A compound of different spices uh, together. Wow. I guess you know a little bit about cooking. 
And I'm just going to break up break up these uh, baby bellas. These are baby portobello mushrooms. I'm going to break these guys up. Usually I would dice them. I'm eating in the truck, y'all. Uh, they're going to pretty much melt or break down. So you got a little little space top and top joint where you can put your stuff in there. Yeah, too. that's what I said. Like us van, like van life and truck life is very very similar. Like it's so not... any truck slash van life travel people can make what you're making right now. Absolutely. You don't need no no chef experience to throw this together. No, I don't. I don't think so. But th another thing is you got to figure out what you like to eat. So I like to keep my ingredients relatively simple. I try to stay within five ingredients or less. One, for cleanup purposes, but two, so that way um, I can control my caloric intake, especially for you as well. So, I mean, as you can see, we got the sausage, so sausage is one, mushroom two, mirepoix is three, ravioli is four, sauce is five. Simple dish. Don't include, you're not going to include any seasonings that you add, and you're not going to include uh, what you use to cook, so I use the avocado oil. substituted with maybe like over a salad or so or maybe like spaghetti squash or zucchini noodles or sweet potato well no not necessarily sweet potato noodles but zucchini or butternut squash noodles that'd be good um so you don't have to use pasta the reason why i usually go for this is because it's, it's uh, technically fresh pasta and fresh pasta cooks a lot quicker and you don't need to put it in boiling water like you would do with dry pasta so something like this like i said um I'm going to put the sauce in and let this cook in the sauce. Mm. And so it'll be nice. But usually what I do is I'll toast these bad boys so it, it can hold their integrity, you know, during the sauce as well. So, you know, I mean, these are things where I, I look at cooking as it's just therapeutic. I like to play with it. I don't really re do recipes, but I do know what works. Um, yeah, I flipped that one right there. I flipped it on right there? Yeah, okay. I it with the... With the palm. Yeah, uh, Ooh, look at that nice caramelization. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay. Now, I know looking at this, you'll think this is done, but this is not. So, like I said, you just want to get that nice caramelization on it. Get those nice, nice crispy bits on it. And I'm cooking the, um, the vegetables with it so they can all have that flavor throughout. You ain't going to throw no, no stick of butter in there? No butter for you, baby. Yeah, no butter. No, no butter. Sorry, you're gonna trust me. You'll taste the difference. So what I am gonna do is take. Um, I ain't cooking with the got butter. <laughs> and my. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. I forgot to open up my freaking knife. I got a ceramic knife. Oh yeah. yeah I'm just gonna. I'm gonna use a um, knife. Are you gonna cut half of that sausage and let me chew on that while you while you cook it? If it's done, it's probably not done. I'm hungry. You always hungry. True. Why are you always hungry? Ooh, give me one of them puddings. What? Oh, okay. Hold on. Nice. Yeah. There we go. I got pudding for when I'm waiting. Put, put, put. You gotta do somebody light. You gotta do somebody light. Do somebody light though. Cause it's gonna mess around and that dough not gonna close and it's gonna mess your food up. Well, I always make sure that I got the uh, thing. And it be in my shot. <laughs> then use the papaya as a prop. I just did. Pan. We got the pan low enough so that way the oil doesn't kick back on there. 
for that burn on me though. Bye. today it's gonna be even more banging tomorrow because now all the flavors get a chance to mellow out but this is good just like this this is great so you want a plate or a bowl uh a, 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 a plate's fine how, like how hungry are you hungry are you i'm hungry? hungry i'm starving you didn't feed me so <laughs> i'm definitely hungry you know what went good with this a big thing of croissant bread no bread Yo, what's up with the bread issue? I know you like bread, no. Some biscuits. Oh, man, some biscuits. Some hot, buttery biscuits. Ooh-wee. <laughs> you used to like three of them off the plane when your grandmama ain't looking. Then she be like, where it go? But she knew where it went. <laughs> That's why she don't press me for it. That's why she don't press me for it. <laughs> your mama say something, she be like, leave that baby alone. He got hungry. This pro setting got this thing looking vivid. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That look real good. That's it. Thank you guys. That's my meal before I start my drive shift. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you go sub to Wave Two Flies channel. Hey guys. Link will be in the comments. We're trying to get her to four, five thousand subs. Yeah, come check me out. She made this. I guess no one knew you were really a chef. You're like you graduated. Yeah, like it's it's real in the field. 
Hit, hit us with your, with, with your chef accolades real quick so they know you ain't playing. I mean, pretty much. Um, started off at the, um, went to the Art Institute, Philadelphia, and then didn't really like the program there. Anyone that's been to any of the Art Institute programs know what I'm talking about. And then finished up at CIA, Culinary Institute of America. Where'd you work at? Um, I worked at R2L, uh, Daniel Stern. Um, that was a fun experience. And I've also worked with um, a Michelin star chef. His name was uh, Chef Connolly. He's a Taurus. Um, his brother actually pays for the, um, the Saints. So it's like really cool. His family's like really cool. But uh, worked under his uh, tutelage. Um, I've also worked for um, the White Dog Cafe. Um, mm. That's another pretty dope restaurant. Like a four star restaurant in Philly. So I worked at a couple of restaurants. Um, I think cooking. So you do this for real? <laughs> I have. It's a it's a chapter in my life along with other chapters in my life. <laughs> so let, um, let's throw out your accolades. Here we go. Scripple <laughs> Chef Truck Driver CDL Truck Driver Yeah Wow That's a lot In one person I know right I think it makes you dope And what's your name Of your channel again Way to fly um, Over on my channel I give you guys The female perspective Of all the vlogs That I do With Trucker Brown um, I also do, I guess, more feminine take on things, so a girly. lot of the girly stuff. <laughs> so, ladies, you can definitely check me out over there. Um, way too fly. You can also come say hi to me on my Instagram, the Studio A Two Eight. I love to talk to you, ladies, and get to know you guys and stuff like that. Because, um, you and know, we're going to be starting a Patreon. What we're going to be doing on Patreon? We're gonna yeah, do we're going to do a Patreon stuff for them. Yeah, and have exclusive content. Um, do sit downs and things like that. So. Yeah, we definitely appreciate you guys. We totally appreciate the people that show us such kind and loving support. Um, you guys are amazing. And um, I'm going to be doing some shout outs. You know, when I see people that are really, you know. Ray like, David. Oh, yeah. Ray David. Uh, Consuela London. Um, mm -hmm. Who else? Miss Brown. Yes, Miss Brown. Nikki uh, Carter. Nikki Carter. Who else? Who else? Be? Oh, Highway Journey. Hi. Andrea. Mm -hmm. Andrea. You know, Andrea, my grandmother's name was Andrea. So that's why I'm probably fond of you because it reminds me of the special lady in my life. She's like, she's my mom, basically. So, mm -hmm. um, no, Married there's a few. to the mile. Yeah. I've been messing with you. I've been solid for seven years. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rich music. Rich music. Rich music. So yeah, there's a few. Akil VCR who provides a lot of the music for our vlogs. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, no, there's a few people, and we're gonna start just like, if you guys don't mind, just have you get your guys' name float throughout our videos. That's our, uh, I guess, our stamp of approval, right, to show that we care and stuff like that. If I do get to 2,000 subscribers, however, I'm gonna be giving away $200. That's right, 200. So, yeah, let me know. Um, and what will happen is whoever's the 200th subscriber, if you guys name that in the comment section in below, I'll give you the 200 cash app right in there. So, don't do drugs, somebody 5,000. Peace. Make sure you sub to the van life, truck life thing. <laughs>